All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. The bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. And I just want to bring out, uh, do a quick video on this article, all right, because <clears throat> right, contrary to popular belief, all right, there's going to be a World War III, which is already brewing up, all right, and the end of it is going to consist of, of nuclear missiles, all right. On the day of the Lord, when the Lord returns, these nuclear missiles are going to be shoot, getting shot off <clears throat> and ultimately destroying America. Okay, but um, let me just go through this article real quick and we'll get into the scriptures. This is on RT. All right. It says, not not great. The title, uh, article is entitled, not great, not terrible. U.S. tests refurbished missiles, missiles after admission nuclear refit lagging behind. All right. So I'm just going to read a little bit. It says the U.S. Navy test fired a volley of decade decades old Trident II nuclear missiles, pro, pro, proving they can still fly days after a top official said the upgrade of bombs and warheads was lagging, and Russia offered to sell U.S. some of its tech. <laughs> so there you go, man. All right, let me flip this over real quick. So. All right, <clears throat> all right. So it's evident that uh, let's lock you. That um, this World War Three is gonna take place, man. They don't they don't have these nuclear missiles for no reason, man. It's just for fun, just to have them, okay. And, hey, but you know that's funny how uh, Russia offered to sell them some of its tech, you know, because uh, America, man, they they falling behind, man. That's why ultimately they're gonna be destroyed. Even though, don't get it wrong, America, they're gonna shoot their missiles off as well. All right, they're gonna they're gonna get theirs off. All right, but um, you know. Nonetheless, you know, the, the, this World War Three, the war to end all wars, so to say, it's going to be fought with these nuclear uh, capabilities. All right, so we'll start off in uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, or verse 5, it says, For every battle of warrior, of the warrior is... So like somebody was at the door, but let me read that again. This is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Because how were the ancient, you know, beginning with the, in the ancient you know, times, biblical times, um, how were these, uh, how were wars fought? They were fought with swords. You know, you were, you were, you had to literally run somebody through with the weapons. So your, your garments would be covered in blood. All right. Confusion and noise is just. You know, people, war cries, you know, people screaming, people hollering because their arms are cut off. You know, just confusion and noise that the swords clinging, you know, but now it says and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with but this shall be with a uh, burning and fuel of fire. All right. So, that, hey, those nuclear missiles, man. All right. Those warheads. This is what's going to how how World War Three is going to fight. Even World War One and World War Two. They still have, you know, uh, the bayonets and whatnot. You know, the, the the technology was developing, so you know they had planes and tanks and shit. But now this war is going to mainly be fought with nuclear missiles, with bombs. Okay, all right, intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's what's going to be this far. Yeah, the, the soldiers are still going to be sent into the Middle East, as biblical prophecy states. All right, the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay. But ultimately, the, the nuclear missiles is going to be is going to be the, the, the deciding factor, so to say. All right. And then when these missiles hit, man, you do you want to be on the right hand. You want to be on the right side of the Lord. OK, because if not, this is going to happen to you. All right. This is uh, Malachi four verse one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble all right so the day that's coming is going to burn like an oven and what's going to make the the world burn as an oven all right like we just read this this war is going to be fought with fuel fire uh let me read it again flames and fuel of fire man all right that's what's going to make this earth burn like an oven the, you know and we're not talking about no easy bake ovens here we're talking about uh, hot thermal nuclear fire. All right, this is Isaiah nine and five again. It says, "For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire." All right, and I go back to Malachi four and one. It says, "For behold, the day cometh 
that shot and th this is the same day of that that um the, the fuel the, the flames and the fuel of fire okay this is the same day for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn hey isn't this the home of the proud they got pride parades they got all kind of everybody's proud to be an american all right and this is the place where you can't do anything you want you can be as wicked as you want here in america all right so everybody here in america that do, that doesn't receive salvation by from you how about you they're going to be fuel for the fire man they're going to be stubble all right it says in that day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. So, hey, it's, 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 it ain't going to be no, nothing left here in America. All right? Nothing, no no, no foundation physically and, 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 and phys, uh, uh, what's the word, Um, you know, philosophy-wise, you know, all the, all the ways that this place is going to be destroyed, man. They're going to go down in fire. This place is going down in flames. All right? Babylon the Great is going to be burnt up. All right? It says, uh, it says, and shall burn them up, man. Save the Lord. Let's let's, let's give you a, a, a this because the scriptures gives you a description of how it's gonna be. All right, it's gonna give you a clear description of how that day is gonna be. That uh, for those that are gonna be burning up. All right, this is uh, this is uh, Zechariah fourteen and twelve, and this shall be the plague. All right, because you know this is the final plague, just like in ancient Egypt, where there were plagues. Well, in this modern day Egypt, which is uh, America, which is spiritually called Egypt and Sodom, all right, there's going to be plagues again, and there's the, there's many plagues, all right, the the, the martial law, or the RFID chip, okay, the pestilences, all right, the race riots, all these things that are going to come take place here in America, there's going to be different plagues, all right, the uh, the famines, all right, but and this is going to be the last plague, okay, it says uh, Zechariah fourteen and twelve, and the and and this shall be the plague. Wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So everybody, anybody that's come up against us, man, he, you know, which is everybody here in America, man. Really the whole world, even two-thirds of our own people. You read the prior chapter, the 13th chapter, it tells you that two-thirds are going to be cut off, man. But what, anybody that's come up against us, they're going to get, even if they didn't, but, and they're not elected to, to be saved, you know, they're going to have to die, man, in this fire, in the nuclear bath, the lake of fire. All right? It says, um... Their, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So while you stand upon your feet, meaning you're alive, your flesh is going to consume away. It's going to be burnt up. Okay. It's going to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's going to uh, deteriorate, uh, not deteriorate. It's going to melt. All right. Better said. Okay. Um, while you stand upon your feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. So your eyes, man, your eyeballs are going to melt away. All right. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So look, your, your skin, your eyeballs, your tongue, you, you, you're going to be getting uh, deteriorated as that heat wave comes. All right, because you, you, the Lord's going to slow down time for you damn wicked ass proud people, man. And so you're going to it's going to be the longest time of your life, man. All right. That's where they get that concept in these Christianity churches and all these churches with that um that eternal fire. You're going to burn forever. Well, it's going to feel like you're burning forever. Cause the Lord's gonna, you, you gonna feel all that your skin melting, your eyeballs sizzling in your in your in your in their sockets, and your tongue burning up. Okay, that's what's gonna happen to you to you wicked people, man. Mainly here in America, cause all co from coast to coast, north, south, east, west of America is gonna be burnt up with nuclear missiles, man, and the other parts of, of of the earth. But mainly the the place of great uh, judgment is gonna be here in America, the great uh, the place of great judgment. All right. And a place of great deliverance. Okay. Like it says in Jeremiah 16 and 16. Uh, 16 and 14 and 15. It, it should no longer be said that the children of Israel were delivered out of the uh, the land uh, the land of Egypt. But it shall be said that they were delivered out of the land of the north. And, the, and where the Lord scattered them. You know, we, we ain't got to get it. But, you know, this is what's going to happen, man. Because, yeah, there's going to be deliverance in, throughout the four corners of the earth. But the great deliverance is going to be here in America. And the great destruction is going to be here in America. All right? Just like great destruction. or There's going to be destruction around the earth. Different parts are getting hit with missiles, nuclear missiles. But the great. Uh, and there's going to be salvation around the earth. But the great destruction and, and the great um, deliverance is here in America, man. Babylon the Great. All right? All right. So, um, knowing all these things. All right? Let's get it. Oh, shit. 
Um, slacky, let me go get my other uh, Bible. All right, so, all right, so no one. This is uh, knowing these things, right? This is a uh, second knowing that America is gonna be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles. All right, they're not testing them for no reason. They're making sure they they work, man, and they're they're continuing to build more and more. All right, that's why these nations are buying all this uh, weaponry from Russia. Okay, because they know what what time it is. This is a uh, Second Peter three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, all right? So the, the day of the Lord, all right, when he returns and when these missiles get shot off, it's going to become like a thief in the night, all right? Because people aren't expecting this, man. People don't actually believe what the scriptures are saying, all right? So that's what you're going to come in like a thief, man, when you least expect it, all right? And what, 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 what are you doing in the middle of the night? Most people are sleeping, man. And that's what the rest, all these people are. They're asleep, man. They're in darkness, gross darkness. It says, um... And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And what's going to cause that fervent heat to, to, to make those missiles, I mean, to make those the elements melt, man. Those missiles, all right? The ICBMs, all right? Thermonuclear missiles, all right? That's what's going to cause that uh, fervent heat to cause, um, um, go, go outside. Go. So, you know, that's what's going to, uh cause that fervent heat man these nuclear missiles and that's ultimately what's going to melt these elements and guess what you people are made of elements man everything you see is made out of elements all right so it's all here in america everything is going to be burned up that's why i said malachi leave neither rant uh root nor branch all right it says um the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up all right hey here in america is going to be burned up man it's going to be nothing but a desert a, a desolate wilderness all right, after it eventually stops burning and smoking, right? It says, seeing then all that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So what manner of life should you be living? All right, knowing that these things are coming to pass, knowing that it's, the, it's, it's prophesied in the Holy Bible, all right, that great destruction is going to come upon America via thermonuclear missiles, all right, in the, in the, in the, in the midst of World War Three, in the midst of all these chaos, all right, that's going to be taking place around the four corners of the earth. What manner of life should you be living? All right. You should be hastening for the day of the Lord. You should be getting right, repenting, coming back unto the Lord, seeking him ten times more. All right. Because if not, you're going to be part of that stubble. All right. So with that, I don't want to reside as edifying, but walk love a ball. Shalom.